Assalamu alaikum family, hope you are all doing well. It's an incredible weather outside. Bare bhi shuru ho gaya hai and mobile to band kar do. I am very close to achieve the FTMO challenge account and I'm also very happy about that, about that and that is the goal for this week. Let's face this amazing week. Firstly, let's talk about the news. We have on Monday there is no news. On Tuesday we have some interesting monetary policy meeting minutes for out. We have on Wednesday we have the official cash rate. They are cutting 50 basic points of NSD because the last minute they, they cut it and all the banks of the all over the world they are cutting rates. So this is a good sign. On also we have the statement, the bank statement. We have crude oil inventors, there is no forecast, and we have a very important news for USD that is FMC meeting minutes. उधर ये बताएंगे कि पिछली मीटिंग में उन्होंने क्या बातें की थी और हाउ इट्स गोइंग टू बी अफेक्ट इन द कमिंग मंथ देर इज टू चांस हाउ इन रेट करो 25 बेसिक पॉइंट ऑन नवंबर एंड 25 बेसिक पॉइंट ऑन दिसंबर एंड द अदर वन वुड बी और रेट कट ऑन नवंबर एंड हर 50 पॉइंट्स ऑफ रेट कट ऑन दिसंबर लेट्स सी ऑन थर्सडे वी हैव कोर सीपीआई मंथली दैट केम लेस सॉरी वी हैव कोर सीपीआई मंथली दैट केम लेस सीपीआई मंथली दैट केम लेस as well and cpi yearly that came less so this is a good sign for us economy having still a bullish momentum and we have unemployment claims that came 4k more so this is an only negative news on on friday we have gdp news about gdp monthly that is coming positive good sign probably after having the thursday news we have a bullish momentum on gdp gbp we have cad news employment chain that is more so that is negative news negative reaction for cad negative feeling for the market and we have unemployment rate where that is coming more so that is negative for cad okay usd we have or ppi monthly that came less and ppi monthly that came less so that is a negative sign for usd and finally we have usd preliminary consumer sentiment that is coming positive but the one this is still no forecast this is also including two stars and three star news let's talk about the market how is starting the market today because china stock market this is not healthy at all because past six months it's gaining 9.50 percent that is totally crazy traders are expecting having at least 50 basic points of red card additionally for this year let's go to the charts let's analyze from the beginning what is what we can expect for this week Nine forty-five. Let's take a look at what happened on GBPN. In this candle, okay, it's twelve, twelve o'clock, and the strategy told me if this touch, if twelve, twelve thirty touch my entry point, okay, that would be the entry point. I have to remove the buys and only let the sells, okay. And yeah, it touched twice time the the buy zone, but I closed it at twelve thirty because I was not comfortable, and it has to be stop loss. So then at night I put this cell, okay, risking very few, it was 0.45% of risk and we just hit TP and we are just 0.40% of having the FTMO challenge pass. This is the best start of the day since I am doing trading in this channel. In the beginning of the day I had a stop loss on GBPM, okay. It was very close to TP, but then finally go to my stop loss. But then I decided to take a short again in the same position. And before it take to a TP, it closed it. Okay. And I just passed the second phase of FTMO. I am, you guys can't imagine how happy I am right now. In this channel, I born the 100k after having it for three months. The other 10k gone because of an alliance, and now FTMO, I have the 10k account. So, Alhamdulillah. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to use this account properly. Obviously, having a trading plan that I just prepared. It's gonna be using one strategy, and it's gonna be GBP Gen. Only one trade per day, buy or sell buy stops or sell stops risking 0.5 percent of risk okay because now we are we 
don't have to do stupidity. Obviously, the risk ratio is going to be 2 ratio, 2.1. Okay, I will be risking $50 to gain $100. Only one strategy, protect capital. And when I re receive my first payout, it's going to be plus the refund. So I will be buying another FTMO challenge when I receive what I just said. Now it's going to be the real struggle. Jesse Menako last blog me bolata, and I have to be focused on the trades that I am taking. Obviously, with a good psychology, good risk management, and especially don't lose in patient. Hello, hello family. Hope you are well. Let's talk about firstly what ha just happened in the FMC meeting minutes. The most important points are a substantial majority supported the 50 basic points. The committee gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward the 2% target. Risk to employment and inflation target are now seen as roughly balanced. And finally, economic activity is expanding at a solid pace. Jobs gain slowly, but unemployment remains low. So that's a good sign for US economy. And step by step, they are still gaining more, we can say, power in the decrease by and bears momentum on all the pays against USD. We have in the beginning of the day, we have the NSD rate card, 50 basic points. GBP NSD create this big candle right over here when the interest rate came out and give us the opportunity to take a bias but it didn't open our trade. In the meantime, DK is why the strategy that we we mark in the beginning of the week is looking to touch it by the end of the, this week. Let's see tomorrow because tomorrow we have CPI of USD. Let's see how it's going to affect in the prices and if we have the possibility to reach 103.300 and then we have a bearish moment. Let's see. let's talk about the first trade that I took on GBP Gen that hit stop loss in the FTMO challenge, but uh, the risk management was really good and I just lost 0.30%. The trade was right over here. Sorry, the trade was right over here and it touched it very, very, very well, 0.1 or 2 pips and it came all the way down. Okay, when London started, it gave all this bearish momentum and I took the opportunity to take some 20 pips and have the, because the beginning of the day, the loss was 0.50% and then it finished the day by 0.30% in losses. Let's see tomorrow how it's going to be the day. Good morning, good morning, family. Let's take a look of the news of today. The probability or don't have any red card for this 2024, the next meeting of November, it's high 20%. Okay, so we maybe have some, uh, some wait and see on November. S&P 500 hit a new high in October for the first 21st time since 1950. Here is the trade that I took right over here five minutes ago and I am seeing a good rejection from this top top line and I am considering having this break this one hour time frame this is a one time one hour time frame trend so I am considering after having this bullish momentum for the past Friday I am considering having a huge bounce this is the area that I mark okay but I am not going to cover all the all the 200 pips okay I will be happy having my slice of the cake. So let's see how this goes. I am really dumb. I don't know how many times I, mean, I have to tell me that I am really stupid. I have to take care filming the screen and filming the video, but it's totally a mess. I have to repeat all over again. Well, CPI of USD just came out and it came better than we expected because it's positive but it doesn't have any logic because it's more inflation and that is negative for us economy and here we can see the the accent on chow i was telling you that it could be a great entry right over here but i didn't take it talking about gbp gen my trade that i executed in the morning it hit my break even okay but this was a real struggle for me because i was fighting with myself trying to have a short conversation with the evil and the angel because the evil boy was telling me remove your stop loss and i did it for the first time and i placed it right over here because i was risking 0.50 percent and the other hand was telling me that you just have the first the ftmo account and you are trying to do good things so don't do a stupidity and try to do the right thing and you have to do it because what i just explained in this channel 
So basically, I closed the trade right over here when it came all the way down, and then having this down moment to uh, this uh, bearish moment too, is because the news just just published. Euroad is for me is like a love war game because the couple of trades that I program that I put the buy limit, it was very close to hit my entry level, but it didn't open and it go straight to my TP. And when it take my order, it goes straight to my stop loss. So this is a very low war game. Let's talk about the minute of the Bank of Eurozone, okay? Because they weren't telling in the policy meeting, inflation was expected to increase again in the later part of this year. Inflation is then expected to decrease toward the target during the second half of the next year. Therefore, it was necessary to carefully monitor whether inflation would stabilize sustainably on the target in a timely manner. The risk of delay in achieving or the ECB's objective was considered to warrant some caution in avoiding prematurely reducing policy restrictions. Same as the Fed. Fed, let's see how it's going to, what is going to do in the next meeting that is going to be the next day of the election. Today, I am very happy because I could trade using my logic and not my emotion. And that is very good part for the trading success. Hello, 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 family. Hope you are all well. Today is Friday. I cannot talk properly because I went to the dentist and it's going to be very complicated to talk. But yeah, here we are. Today on Friday, we have some news on GDP that came as we expected. We have care news that came employment change. This is worse because it's more and the unemployment rate came better. So this is a good sign for the care economy. Then we have core PPI monthly that came as we expected and the PPI monthly came less and that was negative. And then at four, we have preliminary consumer sentiment that came negative and the other one came as we expected. I must say, DIC is why I just almost hit our area. It will reach 103.172 and then it came down. This is still having, I think, some range till next week. USDHF is ranging since yesterday. And zero out yesterday, it really disturbed me because in the personal account, it didn't touch my position because I really want to. Yeah, the position was almost. I think it was right over here and it didn't open twice and then I, I removed it because I was not confident at all because it really disturbed me that the broker didn't allow me to open the trade and I think it because of the spread but it happened a couple of times and so I decided to remove it. We are right now in this trade on GBPN. It was very close to hit my stop loss and right now it's kind of weird because in the morning I missed this trade right over here. It was really really beautiful right over here I lose this trade because I had to go to a dentist and I was not that confident I can say I must say so I decided to avoid taking any trades till something happened and then this entry was when New York started and yeah let's see if it go TP or stop loss Very good week for me personally, not because of the truth, because it's really hurting me. But yeah, we just um, passed the FTMO challenge. We are just about to hit the second stop loss, but it's going to be the first 1% in the FTMO challenge. But we know that in one trade, we can recover what we lost. The most important thing is be consistent with the losses and the profits and let the, the success come because the, in this thing we have to enjoy the the process we have to trust in our gut and be true to ourselves so see you guys in the next vlog apna kya rakhega share karna jo aapke friends hai trading mein trading ke bare mein wo is field mein aana chahte hain kyunki unko zarur pasand aayegi see you in the next vlog don't forget to join the family thank you so much if you do and see you in the next one bye bye and finally it touch my stop loss